Still Wednesday today, 26th of October. Do you remember two weeks ago that I made one round piece that I was willing to make the bracket for the to hold the crankshaft in place? Finally, after two weeks, it's ready. <laughs> okay, and I was not expecting to be to be like that. I just cut this piece here to put the bearing in. <laughs> Take a look. This I just want to hold the crankshaft in place to be able to insert the three pistons. Alright? It looks beautiful. The bolts align excellent. I already uh, saw that. Assembly grease here, putting it in place, holding the crankshaft in place, then installing the pistons properly. How nice. Two weeks. Two weeks to do what? <coughs> Two weeks to cut these pieces here all right drill two holes and slice it <laughs> all right let's go now to fix the same notch that has here here at this point all right that's the bearings that i'm gonna use these are the used bearings obviously i'm not gonna use the new one the new one is gonna be on the block but from this side it's fine like I said, it's gonna be excellent. It's gonna go like that. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. You know what's the irony? I prepared the lathe because I said, okay, I make it undersized. It's not gonna be okay. And I was willing to grab it this together and put it on the independent chalk. I'm gonna show you outside. I even changed the chalk on the lathe. <coughs> I removed the three jaw chalk I have the boring bar here <laughs> and the four jaw chalk the independent to grab it here and fix the board inside but no need okay all right uh, because it's already seven o'clock now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to fix the this gap here on this point find the correct length bolts because it's very long four pieces and continue tomorrow, not today. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be. I might put the bearings, yeah, I'm gonna put the main bearings and the crankshaft on the half of the engine block, and then I'm gonna continue tomorrow to put the piston on the side. Yeah, just for you a second, for me 10 minutes maximum. Yeah, all right, this is pure luck. All right, okay, I measured it earlier before, before I send it, but again. This is pure luck, all right? It's not moving. It does have a play up and down, <laughs> the crank. <laughs> I test it with one bracket. I test also with this bracket. It has slightly with one bracket only, all right? It's not seized. It spins fine. It has a semi grease. That's why it's a little bit more uh, stiff, if you like, all right? Then, I said, okay, this cranks of bearing cap bolts, what I found, it's from M157. All right, I said, okay, they have a big washer. It will gonna definitely touch on the crankshaft. It's, I have to go to machine it, let us say, to cut the, to cut two millimeters, let us say, to have enough clearance. All right, see what's happening. It's not touching. <laughs> How lucky. It doesn't touch. Where I'm pointing? One second, turn on the light. It didn't make any any mark, it's not touching, all right? See how close it is. I was thinking that if I push it front because of the thrust washers, that will get touch, but it's not touching. One second, the timing is saying, all right. Nah. Yeah, why I'm talking, right? Either did I jump the timing chain or it's the... Wait, it might be the timing chain. Either it's touching there. Ah, no, it was damn insane. It was damn insane. It was not touching there. <laughs> nice. Lucky. Happy. Beautiful. Tomorrow, I'm continuing 
to install the pistons and connector rods from this side and then moving on. The, why is happening now this? Because now the engine are gonna make it it's not upside down. This is supposed to be on the side, okay? I have to make it looking up to, ens to enter inside the pistons properly. And then I have to connect the other connecting nodes. I have to install the other connecting nodes from here. And I have to hold it up. It's different procedure, that one. Uh, it's gonna be, one tool gonna be attached here to hold it up. One at a time, he's gonna help me also somebody to be able to keep it in place, to don't scratch the cylinder wall. It will not gonna be able to scratch even if you touch the connecting rod, but it has to be safe. I have also the net, the plastic net to, to dress the connecting rod so to be the plastic instead of the connecting rod if it touches. Beautiful! I'm happy! I'm happy because I, remo I received the brackets. I'm happy because I installed it and I don't have a headache. I don't have to machine the surface. I don't have to fix the bore inside. It's perfect, good, no problem whatsoever. All right, M057 bolts, they save the situation here. Instead of looking for bolts, I said, what in here, let me try. It's 115 millimeters length, something like that. It was excellent. Yeah, you can see actually. So, tomorrow the rest. Looking good, looking beautiful. I love it. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Because I know me, I know that if I don't install one piston to see that comes nice on top of the center, it's not coming out of the sleeve, and that I'll gonna see, let us say, the... Uh, one second to stop the stupid phone to make like that. So, what I'm trying to say is that it's excellent. That's what I'm trying to say. It looks beautiful. It's not positive. It's not coming outside of the sleeve. How beautiful is that? All right. I should be home right now, but, but, but I need to see this one. Where is the piston? And I want to see also the jet. That's not interfering. It's not bothering. You see the jet down there? Wow. Where is where I'm pointing? It's shit. I have to watch through the phone. Yeah, obviously. Otherwise, you're not gonna see nothing. It's looking good. It's looking beautiful. I love it. Amazing. Excellent. Beautiful. Lovely. Now I can go home. Now I can go to sleep. If you don't get blind, let's. How? Let's find one place. Ah, now I sleep with better. I didn't took out any tool to put it here to have an adapter or something. I just throw inside one piston. Obviously the connection bolts are not being torqued down, need to be stretched. Alright, not now, tomorrow. Now that's the end. Thank you very much. Now have a good night once again.